Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to learn about polygon and its different types. So first, we will start from its definition. That what is a polygon? So a polygon is a simple closed plane figure made up by three or more line segments or made up by straight lines. So the first condition is it is a closed plane figure. Second is a polygon will always have three or more line segments or it will always be made up by straight lines. If the lines will be curved line then it will not be considered as polygon. For example, let's draw a figure by using only two line segments. See, here I have taken only two line segments OA and OB. So you will see that we cannot make a closed figure by using only two line segments. Therefore, a polygon always needs three or more line segments. Okay. Secondly, it's an open figure. Hence, it will not be a polygon. Now, let us come to the second condition. It will have three or more line segments and then it should always be made up by straight lines. So, let's draw another polygon. See, these three are straight lines. Let's name it O, A, B, C. O, A, A, B and B, C. These three are straight lines. But if I will join this by a curved line, then it will not be a polygon because a polygon should always have only straight lines. This figure is closed but it has a curve in between. Hence, it will not be a polygon and the figure should be closed. Let's draw another one like this, this, this. And I left it only here. Now here again, these all are line segments. All are straight also, but the figure is a open figure. It's not a closed figure. Hence, it will not be a polygon. So again, I'm repeating the definition. A polygon is a closed plane figure made up by three or more line segments or straight lines. This means minimum three lines are required. Now, what we call to the different polygons? For example, a polygon with three sides is known as triangle. So, this is a triangle. It has three sides and it has three corners or three vertices and three angles also. If I will name it as A, B, C, then it has three vertices A, B and C and three angles also. And the sum of all the angles in the case of triangle, it will be 180 degree. Okay. We can further classify the triangle on the basis of its angles and on the basis of its sides. That I will discuss in my another video. Now, let's continue that what we call to a polygon which has four sides. So, a polygon which is made up by four line segments is known as quadrilateral. Okay. So, quadrilaterals are of different types. Here, I have drawn only few. Like the first one, you can see it's a square. So, it is made up by four line segments and all the line segments are equal. In the case of a square, all the sides will be equal in length. So, it has four sides, it has four corners and all the angles, each angle of a square will be of 90 degree. For example, let's say this, this is a square. 
so it has four corners and four sides and all the sides are equal in length and all the angles will be of 90 degree okay and the sum of all four angles in the case of quadrilateral it will always be 360 degree like in triangle the sum of all the angles is 180 degree but in case of quadrilateral, the sum of all the angles will always be 360 degree. Now, let's learn about some more properties of a square. So, there are two diagonals in a square. Diagonal means a line segment which joins the opposite vertices. Okay, so it has two diagonals. The length of the diagonal will be same. And the diagonals will bisect each other. Bisect means the diagonals will divide each other in two equal parts. And they will intersect each other at 90 degree. Okay, so these are few properties of a square. It has four sides. It has four corners. All the angles, each angle of a square will be of 90 degree. It has two diagonals. The diagonals will bisect each other at 90 degree. Okay. Now, let's come to our second shape that is rectangle here. So, a rectangle is also having four sides. It has four corners. But in a rectangle, the opposite sides will be parallel and equal to each other. For example, if I will name it as A, B, CD, so here AB will be equal to CD, AB is equal to CD and AC will be equal to BD. So this side will be equal to this and this side will be equal to this side. Here again each angle of a rectangle will be of 90 degree. And the sum of all the angles of a rectangle will be 360 degree. So, again, see, this is a rectangle. It has four sides. It has four corners and four angles. And each angle of a rectangle will be of 90 degree. It has two diagonals. Diagonals, again I am telling. Diagonal means a line segment which joins the opposite vertices. So it has two diagonals and the length of both the diagonals will be equal. Here again the diagonals will bisect each other, will divide each other into equal parts but not at 90 degree. Here you can see that the 90 degree angle is not there. Okay. Now Let's move on to our next shape that is a rhombus. So it is a rhombus. A rhombus is having four sides and all the sides are equal in a rhombus. All the four sides. If I will name it as A, B, C, D then I can write that A, B is equal to B, D is equal to DC and that is equal to AC. This means all the four sides in a rhombus will be equal and opposite angles will be equal. Like angle A will be equal to angle D and angle B will be equal to angle C. It will again have two diagonals. These are two diagonals and here the diagonals will bisect each other. Like this diagonal will bisect this one and this diagonal will bisect this one. And they both will meet each other at 90 degree. Okay. Now let's come to our next shape that is a parallelogram. So in parallelogram, let's name it P, Q, R, S. So you will see that opposite sides are equal as well as parallel to each other. Here PQ 
will be parallel to this is a symbol of parallel will be parallel to rs and pr will be parallel to qs okay and in the case of parallelogram it will again have two diagonals the diagonals will bisect each other but not necessarily at 90 degree in some parallelogram the diagonals will meet each other at 90 degree but not in all the parallelograms okay so here the opposite sides will be parallel to each other as well as equal to each other now let's come to the next shape that is a kite so in a kite you can see if i will name it as d e f g then here d e will be equal to d f this side is equal to this side and this side will be equal to this side so let's write d e is equal to d f and e g will be equal to f g okay and here only one pair of opposite angles will be equal. Only angle E will be equal to angle F. Angle D will not be equal to angle G. And a kite is again having, this is a kite, very small kite. I have cut here, C. So it will again have two diagonals. These are two diagonals. And here the longer diagonal. The length of this diagonal is long and this one is short. The longer diagonal will bisect the shorter diagonal. This means this diagonal will divide this diagonal in two equal parts. If I will draw the diagonal here, 1 and 2. So this DG will bisect this EF in two equal parts and at 90 degree. It will make an angle of 90 degree. Now our next shape is trapezoid. So a trapezoid is having two sides equal to each other. This is a isosceles trapezoid. Hence, for example, name it first PQRS. Here, one pair of opposite lines will be parallel and one pair will be non-parallel. So, you can see PQ is parallel to RS. PQ is parallel to RS. But PR is not parallel to QS. But here both are of equal length. PR is equal to QS. Okay. And here the sum of adjacent angles will be of 180 degree. Now let's come to our next polygon that is a pentagon. So a pentagon is a simple closed figure made up by five line segments. So this is a pentagon. In this pentagon, you can see that all the sides are equal. If I will name it as A, B, C, D, E. So here, A, B is equal to B, C. B, C is equal to D, C is equal to D, E is equal to A, E. Means all the five sides are equal here. Hence, it will be known as regular pentagon. If the sides of a pentagon is equal, then it will be known as regular pentagon. But if the sides are not equal, for example, let's draw a pentagon. One side, two, three, four and five. So here you can see, if I will name it as A, B, C, D, E, that it is a closed figure. It is made up by five line segments. But here the length of line segments are not equal. Hence it will be known as irregular pentagon. So let's write irregular pentagon. So if the sides of a pentagon are equal in length, then it will be known as regular pentagon. Otherwise, it will be considered as irregular pentagon. Similarly, a polygon with six sides. It has six sides. 
a polygon with six sides is known as hexagon and here again you can see that all the six sides are equal in length hence it is a regular hexagon and if the sides are not equal then it will be considered as irregular hexagon now what we call to a polygon with seven sides a polygon with seven sides is known as heptagon so if in a polygon there are seven sides if it is a closed figure made up by seven line segments seven straight line then it will be known as heptagon in the case of eight lines if there is a polygon made up by eight line segments then it will be known as octagon okay now you can see that this is again a regular octagon all the sides of this octagon are equal in length okay now a polygon with nine sides is known as nonagon let's write it and a polygon with 10 sides is known as decagon so it's decagon so again a polygon with three sides is known as triangle a polygon with four sides is known as quadrilateral a polygon with five sides is known as pentagon a polygon with six sides is known as hexagon a polygon with seven sides is known as heptagon and a polygon with eight sides is known as octagon a polygon with nine sides is known as nonagon and a polygon with 10 sides is known as decagon so a polygon can be made up by more than 10 line segments it can even have 100 line segments also but it should be a closed figure and all the line should be straight line so friends i hope that now you understood the meaning of polygon and its different types so if you like this video then please share it and subscribe to my channel for more videos and also press the bell icon to get the notifications of my latest videos see you in the next video with a new concept till then goodbye take care thanks for watching